Welcome back to Walking in Truth. And today we're going to continue on the series of the characteristics of God. Who is God? Um, so last week we talked about, what was the word? We talked about the Lord was our shepherd. The Lord is our shepherd, right? He leads us and guides us. This week we're going to talk about God is faithful, okay? So God is faithful faithful. So before we begin, let me ask you this one question. Has, has anybody ever broken a promise with you? I bet, right? How did it make it, you feel when somebody broke their promise with you? Not that great, right? Well, let me ask you this other question then. How have you ever broken a promise with somebody else? Me too. Why do we do that? Maybe sometimes we don't think much about it or sometimes we don't know what's going to happen in the future and so that's why we had to break that promise, right? And then that's partly because we are human, right? We make mistakes, um, but it's not it's always never the best feeling when somebody breaks a promise with you because you just get disappointed and let down, right? And is it hard to trust that person again, especially if it's a big promise that they broke? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it is. But let me ask you this question. Does God ever break a promise? Do you think God ever breaks promises? He never, not a single one. And you know, God made so many promises and you can read a lot about it in the Bible, but he never breaks a single one. And that is what it means when we say God is faithful. He, his words stay true. He's constant. He never changes. That's God. Let me give you an example, okay, before we read the Bible about God's faithfulness. So this is like us, okay? We're like this little twig and, um, you know, we break promises. We say, hey, I'll hang out with you tomorrow. Um, we'll go out to the mall tomorrow. You made a promise to your friend, okay? And um, tomorrow came and it turns out that your mom had to bring you to a doctor's appointment, which you never, figured, never realized. You kind of just broke that promise, didn't you, right? That was such an easy way of breaking that promise, wasn't it? It just cracks. And that's what happens when, when we make promises. But God's promises, they're like this rock. It's so hard. Um, you, it doesn't break. It's like super hard. Um, well, God's words are um, constant. They're, they never change like this rock compared to this twig. So his promises never change. He is faithful. So what are some promises that God made with us? Can you think of any? There's so many, but let me read you a few, okay? One of them we actually talked about um, before, okay? When we talked about um, anxious, anxiety. So one of the promises says, uh, this is Matthew chapter 6. Um, verse 31. Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? And then verse 33 says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. So one, this promise says what? It says God will provide for us. What's another promise that God made with this? This is from Isaiah chapter 43, verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. This is God speaking. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. And the fire shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. So what does this promise say? It says, Regardless, if you walk through the waters, the rivers, the fires, what will happen? 
God is with us. So God is with us wherever we go. That means even if you pass through the worst moments of your life that feels like burning fire or feels like a big deep sea, God is with us. That's one of God's promises. Here's one more, okay? This is from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11 and 12. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare, which is goodness, and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me, and I will hear you. So what does this promise say? It says that God has a plan for us. He knows our future and he plans goodness for our future. And he says when we call him, he will what? Verse 12, it says he will hear us. That's one of God's promises. So these are three of God's promises. And we said, what about these promises? Will God break them? Mm -mm. Solid as a rock, he will not break them. Because why? Because God is faithful. We're going to read this verse together, okay? This time I want to, you to take out your Bible and read it with me, okay? It's going to go about, it's going to talk a bit about God's faithfulness. So this is from Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 9. So grab your Bible, okay? Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. Wow. It says God is the faithful God who keeps covenant, which is like his promises, and he keeps his steadfast love with those who love him. Steadfast is like unchanging. He, that's such a powerful reminder. God's promises hold true because God is faithful. And God is faithful to those who love him. So why is it so important to know that God is faithful? Because, my friends, there will be times when people will come up to you and they'll be like, Ew, you're a Christian? Or, why do you believe in God? That's so dumb. Science uh, doesn't, science proves against a God. There isn't a God. Um, but, you know, God, when he hears those, he's so sad, right? He, because he is there, there is a God. Um, and he wants people to follow him. And that's why it's so important to know that God is faithful and that his promises are true and that he is with us all the time. He provides for us. He um, has goodness planned for our future. It's so important to know all of these things so that we can continue to follow and walk that path right? That path, remember? That path where God is, where we're walking on this path, walking in this light, light um, towards God. That's knowing that God is faithful will help us continue to walk on that path, following him, obeying him. And that's why we need to read and repeat these promises to ourselves to remind us about God's faithfulness. Okay, so this week for homework, I want you to go through the Bible and read through some of the promises that God says because there's so much, honestly. And like, if I said all of these promises, I will definitely fail every single one of them. But God says all of these promises and he's faithful. He is God and he keeps every single one of them. So read through some of these promises and find at least one for you to repeat this week, okay? Okay, then. All right, can you repeat after me? God is faithful, okay? One, two, three. God is faithful. Amen. Okay, then, friends, I'll see you next week, okay? Next week, we'll talk a little bit about another characteristic of God. Okay? Bye!